Welcome, my friends. We're talking about another leaked update talking about the Builder's Hut. Yes, six Builder's Huts. Is it true? Is it false? Let's find out and dig into this article, shall we? It comes from Clash of Clans France, a forum here. I have some other videos if you want to watch those. But look at this, guys. Right in the middle, you can see it. You can see it right there. Sixth Builder Hut is now available for 5,000 gems. However, only Tunnel 10 and higher can summon it. Now, is this going to be true? I think this could be game changing and I wouldn't actually be surprised because what does it do for Supercell? Well, it speeds up time, which definitely needed. Also, money. 5,000 gems. That means they're good. people are going to have to be spending quite a bit of money to get that six builder shot. And of course you are. It'll speed up your time by months. Seriously, for it'll speed up your time so much. It's crazy. 5,000 gems, six builder shots. I, I don't know. This isn't, it's not guaranteed in the sense there are mixed opinions. I mean, it is, a, it, they say it's from a top secret leak from Clash of Clans. I don't know, but Six Builder Hut, I could actually see that happening. One of the things. Now, there's a couple other things in here um, that they talk about. You know, I've already, if you watched my other video, I already mentioned some of them. Some interesting things, though, as far as, look at this. One says Army Camp Level 9. Now, this could be true. Increased troop capacity. Now, to in, uh, you know that makes sense. If they're going to start upgrading and making kind of Clash of Clans harder, already Town Hall 11 is tough. If they're going to start adding more defense to the game, they're going to have to either increase troop space or they're going to have to uh, okay, upgrade the troops to make them stronger. So, which one would be better? Honestly, from a you know from a I guess advancing strategy are upgrading an army camp kind of smart. It get, makes people invest in the game. They got to loot. They got to raid. They got to buy gems. Who knows what they got to do? Uh, so that definitely, definitely could be an opportunity for them to do that, giving more power to the camp space. Now, I don't know if you'll get an extra 20 camp space or how much. Who knows? Um, but these are just a couple more things that, fi that I find interesting that could happen. Now, as far as the legitimacy of these Clash of Clans forums, you know, it's, I don't know. There, there's a big list here, guys. This is a big list on here. Look at all this stuff here. You can check it out. I'll have the link in the description. You can look at it. Clash of Clans from France. Is a for their forum there. Leak sneak peeks. Look at the May update. You see it right there. Um, so, uh, watch my other video. I already talked about some of the spells and the new not, the spells and the new troops possibly as well that are going to be in the game. So anyway, back to today's video in this sense. Let's get a live attack. We are faced off against dark looters, nonetheless. Holy cow! Anyways, let's show some attacks on our end. But to, as far as the update, you know, I don't know. Six builder shots. They would definitely speed up time. The one thing. I'm, I'm, I wonder if they'll do because they've done it in some of the um, other games like um, you know instead of starting at Town Hall 1 you say you jump you already start at Town Hall 8 you know that would definitely help new players get into the game because honestly it doesn't get fun until Town Hall 9 Town Hall 8 it's just a learning curve. Like Town Hall 9 is the real fun that occurs. So I think they could do that. Or if they add a six builder's hut, definitely um, would make a difference. Um, they could either cheapen the, the, the lower ones, which they won't probably won't do. Um, but definitely adding a six would make them huge amounts of money. I mean, why not add another builder for Town Hall 11? It takes forever anyway. And even Town Hall 10 takes a long time. So that's kind of cool. I think I could see that happening. It's obviously not a huge, massive, of update to it it's just more of a user friendliness but kind of a big one it speeds things up i should say now as far as the ship you know so much speculation what's going to come forward i always talk about it's got to increase com competition so whatever this ship is and this sailing away and hoisting the sail and tally ho and all this it needs to make sure it increases the gameplay and competitive of clash of clans or otherwise it'll fail into the oblivions and i've talked about that if you want to see those videos y'all have them in the links descriptions and the uh, things above my head and all this stuff i don't even know but the Clashologist, I am trying to decipher what is going on in this Clash update. Who knows? You know, who knows what's going to happen? Uh, but it's fun. And I like seeing these forums. And some of them, I think, will be true. Everything in that form, if you go back and look at it, it's not all going to be true. And that's fine. Not all going to be true. Look at this Queen walking to Valkyries. I love this at Wally West showing us how it's done. 
Uh, but however, what will be true is that some of these updates will happen. You know, some of the things in there will occur uh, without a doubt. They're probably going to tweak some of the loons, the hounds. They're either going to nerf, they're going to add troops, um, uh, either going to, I think they're going to add, probably, they could bring back the Ice Wizard. I mean, they've already created the troop. Talked about that in another video. You can watch that one. So, I really think they will add a new troop or something new to the game pretty big. You know, they have to. It's it's inevitable. But the question is, will they bring back one of their old troops or add a new complete one? I'm, I'm assuming maybe a new Dark Elixir troop or possibly even a new Spirit spell you know we do have that we have two uh, dark spells so maybe add something different to give us more variety than the skeleton or the haste uh, something you know or poison give us something mm, i don't know in the speculation one of those videos said of regeneration that would be kind of cool bringing back troops to the life uh, because they do have that clone spell kind of similar to that so yeah i could definitely see that happening and it's kind of cool, you know? It's kind of cool to see what's going on. Let me know what you're thinking. And I'm just going to keep doing these videos. And hey, I have another one you should watch about a sneak peek in the same forms. You could read it or you could come and subscribe and watch my video tomorrow and see what I think that's going to happen, which actually would be kind of cool given its specification uh, or person. Per personality given clash of clans personality which it lacks right now so make sure you watch that video we're going to speed this one up another town hall nine hit and once this one is dead and down to the godos look at this using gobo ho it looks like i like this strategy so yeah very cool stuff if you're new to the channel, I appreciate it. I am the Clashologist, Halo Ochreheads. I'm really trying to help you improve your game. If you feel like you are lacking in Clash of Clans, if you want to improve your game, get better, become top in peck, maybe play for the Dark Looters. If you speak German and are good, then you can definitely dominate and watch my videos. I've got a lot of good stuff for Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, heck, even Town Hall 8 a little bit as well. Um, so all kinds of good stuff. Please be sure to subscribe. I also do a lot of live streaming as well, but look at this beautifulness. And um, yeah, I really can't wait for the update. Who knows, it'll probably come out. Who knows when it'll come out? It's gonna come out soon, you know. They're gonna surprise us. They're gonna make it happen. And I really like the trailer. Hopefully y'all seen the trailer. It is really cool. The trailer definitely has a bang for your buck or a pack for your punch. I don't even know, but it's a really cool trailer. You should give it a go. Let's speed this one up. Shall we? Shall we speed it up, my friends? And um, yeah, check out those links. Check out the forums. See if they're legit. People will say these are fake. They, you know, again, I already said they're probably going to be half fake. Most, more than half fake. Just a little bit of kernel of truth in there involved. But thanks again for watching. And we will see you next time and get those builders going. Clash on. And Halo out.